Hello and welcome to a new F1 2015 sort of setup and hot lap video. This time we are driving around, uh, yeah, Brazil, the circuit Jose Carlos Pace, and uh, yeah, I pretty much like this track. I had uh, lots of great league racing around here, and coming to the center is braking just at the P0 sign on the top, down to second gear, trail braking. Now into this long left hand off, all full throttle, open your DRS, and now we are looking just after the 100 meter board as there's a small uh, astroturf, that's the braking point, now up to Ferradura, this uh, quick double right hander into 5th gear and then taking the second apex and just braking after you get your uh, wheel straight. That's the breaking point. Now into this slow corners. It's important to get a good traction out of here. You even saw a little moment of oversteer into this left a right hander. Need to hit the curb to get a good exit and this full throttle left hander. And that's already the last real corner. Third gear. It's important to take as much speed as possible out of that corner and have a good traction because this is the longest straight on the circuit, and otherwise you would lose a uh, lots of time open your DRS and that's a really short lap of Brazil the second shortest uh, lap of the calendar in my opinion I think just uh, Austria is shorter in terms of times and uh, yeah now we will have a look uh, yeah onto the assists uh, of course no assists used and as well um, yeah my controls I'm driving with a pad. All the settings I have you can see right here. And my advanced wheel settings, all settings are on zero, which I think is not default. I think default would be if the first, uh, uh, yeah, if the first part would have been on 10 and the rest all on zero. So now we come to the setup. And um, yeah, surprise, surprise, 1-1 one, one wings. Um, I think it's uh, yeah, not a big surprise because we have some long straights and uh, slow corners where you usually don't need to have a, a good aerodynamic. Just uh, yeah, the double right-hander transmission, 100% and 65%. Uh, yeah. I think it's uh, helping you quite a lot in the slow corners where, uh, in terms of turning. Suspension, always the same in this game. Maximum camber, maximum toe for best uh, grip and corners. Other settings would uh, just give you a disadvantage and it wouldn't help on the straights as well. Suspension, 11-1, 11-1. Yeah, that are my default settings which I almost always use on every track of the calendar. Tire pressures 18-18. You can take uh, there whatever you want because I don't think it has any effects on your uh, yeah tire management or anything. And the ballast is on 11 which means the car is oversteery which you saw for quite uh, I think for two moments um, in in the hot lap, but it's important to get a car uh, around these tight corners, so um, definitely put it down to the back. And that's the setup, and now we will have a quick look at the sector times. So I think I pretty much nailed the first uh, sector. Second sector was quite okay. And the third, uh, yeah, I could have done maybe a little bit better. You can see in the lap before I did it, uh, yeah, seven hundredths of a second quicker. So there's a little bit of room. I think the first and second sector were pretty awesome. And yeah, that's it for this setup video. I hope you enjoyed it. And yeah, see you last time for Abu Dhabi, which will be the last setup of the series. Bye bye.